This is the Mogerfarger Low Pass Filter, a pedal created from the original synthesizer filter in the famous Mini Moog. That was the Low Pass Filter, now in a plug-in. In the center of each Mogerfarger pedal, there's a drive control, and that's just your input level, designed to go from low to high signals, and there's also a signal level indicator right there. The main control is here. This is the cutoff setting for that filter. A low pass filter does take away the highs. We'll make it darker and richer as we remove the highs. Let's listen to that as we go with this pre recorded bass track. <laughs> This is fully open, all the highs are coming through. And this is down darkening quite a bit. I'm working right here with the four pole filter setting. That was the original setting for the Mini Moog filter. And it's a very steep, sharp filter. It cuts off very abruptly above whatever cutoff point you have, like 250 hertz or 1K. It rolls up very sharply. The 4K is a fatter sound, a little more meaty, and then the two-pole lets a little bit more high-end through, so you can consider that a brighter, a little bit edgier filter. Let's listen to those again, too. Two-pole is brighter, given a specific setting. Four-pole is darker and meatier. And then down below we have the resonant control. Resonance is just feedback through the circuit. What it does is actually emphasize whatever frequencies are near the cutoff point. So if you have those in the mid-range, it will emphasize the mid-range. If you have this cutoff point down low, it emphasizes the low end thump. If you add it up top, you hear some more trouble. So as we play with this, I'll bring up the resonance. You can hear what it's going to do. Emphasize the mid will bring out the notes. Emphasize the low it brings out the bottom end. And up high you hear the clickingness of the pick. Again, the resonance is just peaking out at the cutoff frequency point. If we go up higher, it even gets whistly, a bit of feedback. Which is true to what the Mini Moog used to do. It does get that vocal effect, the wow type sound. As you move up and down, you get a vocal filter thing. And those controls are the main controls for the low pass filter. On the right side of every Moga Ferga pedal are your main controls. The left side will be adjusting those controls somehow automatically, typically. This is an envelope shape control. It takes the input signal, senses the level of it, and uses that to drive the frequency of the cutoff up and down. I can do that smoothly, a little more gradual, a little more soft shape, or if I want very aggressive things like on a drum track, I could use the fast setting. So if we add the envelope to it, when it hits a louder note, the filter will come up brighter. And then if we hit a soft note, the filter will come down lower automatically from our fixed setting and it will darken it. So you have that Ottawa kind of a touch filter type thing that you would hear on many things like Jerry Garcia tracks, uh, Stevie Wonder, clavinet tracks. Let's hear that working on the bass. This is a slow attack. Here's the fast movement. This is the slow setting. This is faster response. And of course, your basic setting here on the filter will affect it too. Where does it start from? Here I've also got the mix control, so we can go from this highly filtered sound to the dry sound as well. And back again, a little bit of each. And this is useful when you don't want to cut off all the high end, but you still want the effects of the filter. The dry signal will allow the full frequency signal to come through, and the filtered sound will emphasize the cutoff points and the resonant effects going forward.
Let's look at this drum track, which is good sounding but very bright. So I want to use the filter just as a tone control at this point. I'm going to use just the cutoff and bring it down a bit. We'll take out too much at first, just so you can hear the effect on the drum kit. Really brings out the low end, brings out the toms that were not really audible before. All the low woodeny parts of the drum kit and the cymbals, of course, are attenuated very steeply because we've got the four pole filter on. So again, I can switch that out. I've made a duplicate of my drum track. And here is a duplicate, which we're going to use just a simple filtering trick like we did before. Let's bring it out so we can bring out the lower stuff only and almost make a new track out of that. This is just the low toms, kick drum, bottom of the snare. You can feel all that low end thump that was missing in the original. And I'll also turn on a compressor so we can have parallel compression going on. This is our original track up above. The bright and clean drum sound will now be mixed with the darker, warmer drum sound. Here's the original. And if we add in the fat track down below. Just the low pass filter track. And then both. So this is again one of my favorite things to do, just simply using the filter without all the envelope shaping as a basic tone control. It's a really musical, meaty, fat filter, and you can parallel things, you can run track straight through it and take away some nasty high end instead of just using an EQ. Uh, it's great for like modern digital synths and even drum machines, tracks that have that ugly kind of nasty high end to them. Really gets much more of a rich kind of vinyl sound that the kind of Synthesizer bass we're known for with Moog products, that great low end.